morning. <laughs> I just, that's Sophia, by the way. Isn't she so cute? Sophia. Hi. She's so cute. She's the like sweetest little angel. Um, anyway, I got back from Boston. I filmed nothing. I thought I was gonna film and I thought I was gonna make a really cute like video of my travels and I didn't realize how much I missed my friends and how much I needed my friends until I got there and I was like I'm not gonna even think about like my goal of making a video every single Sunday because I really just needed rest and I really needed to just be encouraged by my friends and I really wanted to encourage them as well and so it was such an encouraging time and I just really miss them and I wish I was up there still. But yeah, so I didn't post a video last Sunday and I was not feeling great about it. I was just like, I'm lazy and X, Y, and Z, and I, this doesn't even matter. Like nobody cares I'm making a video like that I'm not posting. And I was like, you know what, it's okay. Like what I really needed that weekend was just human connection and just to be encouraged by my friends and to encourage them. And that's exactly what happened. Anyway, I wanted to share my like crazy uber stories that I experienced in Boston. So this past weekend, I flew alone for the first time. I've never used Uber on my, like, on my own. I've always had people just order it and then I just Venmo them. So I did that all by myself. And yeah, I like really felt like I pushed my boundaries and, and pushed my anxiety to a point where like I, I was like, I want to be independent and I'm gonna have to do that by facing my fears. Like I can't just like be independent and not change and not like strive to be a better version of myself. So anyway, I'm also trying the Cranberry Mary Orange Lemonade Refresher. I haven't had this yet. I love cranberry. I wish we had cranberry all year round, um, or I wish it was more normalized, but I love it. And then I also got the Cranberry Bliss Bar to be a little on brand. This thing is so good, so good. Anything with cream cheese and cranberries, sign me up. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna have my first sip. There's like freeze dried cranberry pieces. This is so cute. I'm like, this is such a like great holiday drink. It kind of smells like a candle. It smells like a candle you get at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a candle. It's okay, it's okay. It kind of tastes like a candle. I don't know, I'm not mad at it though. It's like kind of like a little tart and a little like aromatic. So I don't know if that's a good thing, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. Um, yeah, so far I'm not mad. I already know I like the Cranberry Bliss Bar, so don't worry, I'm aware of what I like. <laughs> um, it's like not overly sweet. I'm actually not mad about it. I tried the blue refresher that they came out with in the summer, like the summer, summer fruit berry thing. It's like blue with the red popping bubbles. I did not like that at all. I was so disappointed. But yeah, I do miss the very berry hibiscus. That drink slapped. I could drink that all day. Um, but yeah. So the, I think the Cranberry Mary kind of gives me more very berry hibiscus vibes. Um, yeah, I might be a little addicted, just a little bit. But anyway, so back to my little story. 
You guys are like moving. Okay, I think I got it. Stay. So back to my Uber stories. So I get off the airplane at like 10 a.m. on a Friday. And I have been to the boss, the Logan airport once before, but I was with someone so I wasn't entirely paying attention. So anyway, I'm like, I don't know where to find Uber and like where the pickup station is. And so on the app, it will tell you like where to go from the, in the airport to get picked up. So, hi Sophia. Wait, let me, Sophia. <laughs> She's like, girl, you can look at my butt. I don't wanna be on camera. Okay, I respect your wishes. Anyway, yeah, so I'm following the directions on the Uber app that tell me where I am going to be picked up in the airport. I didn't know that the app told you this information, which would have been nice to know because I was so anxious the entire flight. Like, I barely slept. I barely got away. Like, I was up at 4 a.m., guys. So I'm over here like using the app. I'm like, thanking God. I'm just like, thank you. Like, I just need instructions. Like. I don't know where I'm going. And I followed the instructions and I still got lost. I asked someone who seemed to kind of know what she was doing. She also like did not really understand like where to go. The signs were confusing. Like when it says like going up or going down, the arrows just like point. So sometimes I'm like, do I go straight or do I actually go up an escalator? I don't know if that makes any sense. But anyway, so yeah, eventually I find the Uber like pickup area and I'm like okay like it seems like everyone else is being picked up like great I'm in the right area like thank god because I'm anxious and nervous so I'm standing there for 10-15 minutes and I'm like <coughs> I'm watching where my uber is and he's still in the city of boston nowhere close near to the airport and everyone that like has been waiting before me or waited after me is leaving with an uber so i'm just like is my app broken what do i do can i cancel without being like charged i don't know what to do i was so confused so I like call my friend. I'm like, dude, this man like has not moved his car. I'm like, oh, what do I do? She's like, wait another five or 10 minutes. And like, if he doesn't move, like just get a new Uber. And I was like, okay. And I was like, dang, I really don't want to spend like 60 bucks. Like I really don't want to spend a lot of money while I'm here because food in Boston is already expensive. So then I'm paying for my meals. So like, this is so inconvenient um yeah so i finally like see him starting to move i'm like okay great like he's coming and eventually like he's in the airport and he's like i'm at station like 31 or something and i'm like okay great start heading over there i'm looking for the license plate and the car trying to figure out like who is it I see this really tall older man with a full on cowboy hat standing by a car. And I'm just like, there's no way that, like this guy can't be for me. So I kind of skim past him looking at the license plates and I go to look back and he is my Uber. This man had a full cowboy hat on his head he had like the whole like get up and he had like this long like rat tail on the back of his head. I was just like, why? Like, like, okay, like, please just, just don't be a weird drive. Like, I just, I want peace and quiet. I'm like, Usually they don't talk to you. Sometimes or you find a really nice Uber and they'll chat with you and it's nice and you're like, oh, so great talking to you. Goodbye. Never have to see you again. And so he's like driving. He's like driving aggressively. I'm just like, he's like honking at people, like low-key cursing. And then he's got like this wild, wild west country music on. And I'm just like, 
this is chaotic. Like your whole vibe is chaotic. I was like, coming from the south, like and up north, I was not expecting to be driven by a cowboy. Like, my mind was broken. I was like, a whole cowboy is picking me up in Boston. It was so random. Anyway, he got me to my destination and he was pretty nice and chill, but like the whole, like I've been up since 4 a.m. and seeing a cowboy was just not on my bucket list. I texted my friend like a cowboy picked me up. She was like, what? Like in Boston? And I was like, girl, yeah. Of course, I would get picked up by a cowboy. That's just crazy. I still like, can't even believe what happened. I was just like, this is so bizarre. And so like we used Uber here and there in the city while I was there. Like mainly we used the bus or we walked, but we did use Uber a couple times and they were all chill and fine. And I was like, oh, like this is nice. Like they don't really talk. Like they were just kind of like, hey, and like have a great one. Zooms off. I'm like, great. Like that, that works for me. So... I swear it's like when I come and go from Boston, I get the weirdest experience. So it was a Monday morning. I, my flight was at 5.40. I scheduled an Uber to pick me up at like 3 a.m. because it's like a 30 minute drive to get there. And I was like, I've never been inside the, this terminal that I'm going into. I don't know where my flight is. I get so anxious. I want to be there two hours early so that I can make sure that I am on time. So 3.15 rolls around and my Uber gets there. And so I'm get, leaving my friend's dorm All the gates that surround the dorm are locked with a chain and lock. I, I could not get out at 3 a.m. So I'm running around the whole campus. Literally, it's just fine. One gate open. And I can't. And I, once again, have only been to this campus once. And that was two years ago. So I'm like... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like my Uber's right over there. I can't get out. I have a flight. Like I want to go home. I have school like the rest of the week. So I'm like out of the breath. I can't get back in my friend's dorm because she has a key. So I'm like, I can't just walk in there and be like, hey, I'm sorry for waking you up again. Like help me. So I try calling her. She doesn't pick up. I don't expect her to pick up. I mean, it's like 3 a.m. And I literally confirmed with her when I was leaving. Oh, my Uber's here. Goodbye. So I call my Uber. I'm like, this is so awkward. I've never called an Uber. So I call him. I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm like right to your left. I'm behind the gate. I can't get out. I don't know what to do. I don't want to make you think I just like bailed or that I'm not showing up because I'm literally right here. So he looks over to his left. He sees me behind the gate. He's like, he comes out and he's kind of just like, this is weird. Like in his face, he was like, like, I like, I was just playing on sitting in my car and picking you up. So he gets out of his car, meets me at the gate. There's a gate in between us. And I'm just like, hey, like, I, I'm stuck, like, like, I don't know how to get out of this, so, I tell the guy, I'm gonna jump the gate, <laughs> and this guy is like, what, and he's like, probably like around a dad's age, like middle, late forties, maybe early fifties. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to jump this gate. Can you help me? Because it was like a seven foot gate y'all. And I'm really, really sure. And I was like, I just, I like, once I know I'm going to be late, I go a little crazy. I don't like to be late. If I'm late, 
I lose my mind. Like, I just, I just cannot be late. I don't like it. I hate being late. Like, ruins my mood. So, I'm like, can I, like, toss my, like, toss my luggage to you? Like, I'll climb it after. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, you don't have to agree to this. Like, I just don't want to miss my flight. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. And so, he, like, takes my luggage and my carry-on. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to jump it. So, I'm like... At the gate door, there's, it's not like a place I can just really put my foot on, but there's like a, like a, a metal like rod going like diagonally through the door. So I was like, okay, I'm going to step on this. I'm going to climb over. And the tops of the gates are really pointy. And I was like, I might like stab my butt. I might stab my butt. So I like hop a leg over after I get my footing onto the gate. And this man's like, okay, like jump on my back. And I'm like, I can't, like I, like my foot is stuck. So then he turns around, he like puts his hands under my arms and is like, okay, just jump and I'll like help you jump. So I do that and we made it down and I was so embarrassed. I was like, I apologize. Like, this is not how you thought you were spending your month, like your morning at 3 a.m. Like, thank you so much. Like, I was so apologetic. I felt so bad for this man. And the whole time this is happening, my phone is ringing because my friend looks out her window and sees me hopping a gate with a stranger. So she's like trying to call me being like, girl, there's an opening way down. Like it was so far away from my Uber. Like there was no way I was going to find it. And my friend was like, yeah, they started recently locking up the gates. I totally forgot. Like, I'm so sorry. And I'm just like, girl, like, girl, like. I was like, would have been nice to have known, but it's okay. So, and then she's like watching me get in the Uber. I'm like calling on the phone. She's like, it's okay. Like we made it through as long as I'm not late. I don't really care. And I was like apologizing to this man. He was like, well, I had no idea that there was only one gate open. I was like, man, me neither. So we're just kind of laughing about it. And my friend's like, by the way, like two minutes after you jumped that gate, a policeman drove by. And I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, oh, I was like, thank the good Lord I made a decision quickly to just jump the gate. Because if a policeman showed up and I have to explain him why I'm breaking out of the campus. Oh, like that's crazy. So me and the guy were just kind of like laughing about it. Like, oh, like we almost got in trouble. Like, and I just, I don't like break the rules. I don't. I'm like, I, I, I don't like problems. I don't like dealing with stuff. I don't like, I'm just like, I want to live my life peacefully. I don't like, I just don't want to be bothered with inconveniences and dealing with the law is just an inconvenience to me. So Oh, guys, I like was like, I was like, this is the craziest weekend, like great weekend, just weird experiences with Ubers. And yeah, like I'm really grateful. Like I gave the guy who helped me over the gate a big tip because I was just like, thank you just so much. Like he went above and beyond and was just had such a good energy. Like he had good energy and such a great vibe. And I was just like, thank you. Like, it might have not meant much to him if he maybe just went over his head, but he was just an awesome guy. And I was like, thanks. Like, you, like, you and I, like, we got over the gate. Like, we did this. Um, but, yeah, so I'm so – it was such a fun weekend, though. I wish I took more videos and pictures. I really didn't. I was just so focused on just having quality time with my friends. Um yeah, and I might be hooked on this refresher. Guys, it's it's really good. Like, I did not think I needed, like, a little tart drink, but it's delicious. <sighs> anyway, I'm still really sleep-deprived. I work after this, after my class, and I don't know how I'm going to get through the day, but we're chugging along. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I I don't know if people normally have like crazy Uber experiences, but yeah, mine mine will stick with me forever. Um, anyway, if you haven't already liked or and I cannot talk. Anyway, 
If you guys haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. Um, yeah, it's fun kind of like reminiscing on like crazy or funny experiences. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I, I will probably be talking about this in the next like year. Not even kidding. Um, yeah, anyway, I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!